So what I thought it might be uh, useful to do is just show you um, very quickly a different way of tasting wine so that tomorrow night when we're doing our, our Twitter tasting, um, you uh, maybe just approach tasting wine a bit differently than if you were just sitting at home and having a glug, which is what most of us do most of the time. But this is really a chance to try something different and really get a true picture of the wine. So what you need to do is get yourself a glass, pour in an amount that means you can swill it around without throwing it down your front. So about that much. And to give it a good swill. And the reason why we're doing this, if you can see that, is to really release the aroma so that we can shove our nose in the glass. Because when we're tasting a wine, actually about 75% of it is, a down, is down to the aromas of the wine. And then the last 25% is the flavour. And really we want to get our nose in, have a big sniff. And by doing that, what we've done is we've got about 200 uh, receptors up our noses, who knew, who will smell that and start sending messages to the brain about what it is we can smell. So if you just went for the pick up and swirl, you'd miss an enormous part of what you might be able to get out of this glass of wine. So now when it comes to tasting, you want to get a good mouthful of wine, and then you want to suck air in and, and almost wash the wine around your mouth, not like mouthwash if you were brushing your teeth, but just to knock it about a bit so that you can feel the wine on your gums and on your tongue, at the back of your tongue, all over, so that all those 10,000 taste buds that you've got get a chance to really soak in that wine and, and you can get, a, a, as I said, a true picture of what you're tasting. So here we go, not pretty, but um, essential. Southern French Merlot. Not the one we're tasting tomorrow night, that's Malbec. Anyway, point is, uh, you don't have to do that every time you taste, obviously, but when you're tasting the wine for the first time, I thought it was worth showing you so that when we're tasting tomorrow night, you can see what it is I'm on about when I say, knock it around the mouth a bit and stick your nose in the glass.